Welcome back to the Kilted Texan, and I want to 100 and crazy percent welcome you back to my full frontal nerdity. So, what we're doing here today is we're driving from Nashville down uh, back into Central Texas. I went up to see my daughter, and uh, we, you know, this is basically the documentation of the road trip. I want to make it a little bit more scenic. Also give you all confidence in the fact that you can road trip these cars. Uh, this is one of my favorite road trip cars. But uh, as you can see there, we started off at an EA station in Nashville. It's a little bit east of downtown. And because our hotel, which has a level two charger and a valet service that you pay an insane amount of money to have them park, failed to charge our vehicle. So I'm a little upset about that, but we'll let that go at this point. But wanted to show you some of the some of the actual scenes, you know, the, the scenic runs that you can that you can see when going from Nashville down to uh, down to Texas. But you know, this is some of the roads that are actually not too far away from downtown. But uh, we left the EEA station with about 65% uh, state of charge, and we're going to Jackson, Tennessee. The nice thing was, and I say nice thing is we're passing an accident. The nice thing was is we got into a traffic jam. This is about 15 or 20 minutes of really slow driving, which is actually good for electric vehicles because they thrive in the stop and go traffic areas. But uh, you'll see here that, you know, that BMW was kind of trashed. That one was destroyed and looked like they all came together with this big rig. But looks like everybody was okay. There weren't any ambulances or anything like that but we got into Jackson, Tennessee rather uneventfully, backed her into position and started her charging up. Well, we rolled into Jackson, Tennessee with not a whole lot of juice left. Uh, the hotel neglected to charge the car, so we were only at, I think, 65% leaving Nashville. So we rolled kind of slow all the way here and then there was an accident. A truck took somebody out, so um, anyways, rolled in here. 133 miles, averaging 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour, 54 mile an hour average speed. Uh, percentage at 13%, 38 miles on the guess meter Let's try to get this thing charged up quick. So sitting here in a Walmart parking lot in Jackson, Tennessee. We are ramping up. 124 kilowatt. That is what I like to see. I am a happy camper. We'll get out of here going to 75% to make it all the way to Forest City, Arkansas. And uh, well, that's pleasing to me. So hopefully this leg back or this run back to Texas will be a little bit less disappointing charging speed wise. As you can see, here we are making it into Forest City, and you can see the Walmart. It's a little bit off the beaten path, maybe about three quarters of a mile off the highway there or so, but you can see the chargers are on the far right-hand side of the parking lot, and it's a pretty substantial walk over to the Walmart, but you know they're pretty well stocked up with all the good facilities. There's also a restaurant or two in the near vicinity if you want to walk to it and maybe spend a little bit more time charging here, but. They got you pretty well covered here as well. A little less so than Jackson, but not too bad. Well, we made it from, uh, from Jackson, Tennessee to Forest City, Arkansas. And we did 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour, averaging 67 miles an hour. That was a total of 127 miles, did it in an hour and 55 minutes. Uh, let's see. We're down at 17%, 37 miles remaining on the guesso meter. And let's see, we are supposed to be charging up here. We're supposed to go to, let's see, 66%. So we're going to 66% to uh, make it there. And we're going to go ahead and charge up, see what kind of speeds we get. We're here in Forest City, and this is the only charger available. It is the Chadmo. I'm sorry about that. It looks like we are ramping up. We're at 95 kilowatt. Not perfect, but I think that's what we got the last time we were here. So she's maxing out a little low. But... Uh, 
Well, we're happy we're at least in the 90s because I uh, had one location where we could only get 36 and that sucks. But yeah, the rest of these are all showing unavailable. And this is here in Forest City, Arkansas, which I'm sure is a hotbed of electric vehicles and everything else. So I think we know why that's probably out. But she's still running strong. We're pressing on with a great exuberance back home to the great state of Texas. We'll see you when we leave. Again, we're going to 66%, so not too long, just to get us to Little Rock. Now, I did go ahead and report to EA the fact that those other three chargers were out. I mean, it's just a good practice. Uh, you know, if you go to a particular charger and several of them are offline, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and report them. I mean, you think of it this way, the more reports they get, the more they see that they're being used, so they might be more inclined to actually fix them. But here's Little Rock. This is right off the highway, um, immediate turn, you know, off of there. And the Walmart is uh, just on the south side of this particular road. You pull right in here into the parking lot. It actually has pull through. Uh, it's a pull through style. So if you happen to be an EV that's got a, a trailer on it, uh, it's perfect for that. Um, and there's a couple of restaurants in, you know, right there. If you don't mind walking across the road, there's a McDonald's and you know, all sorts of good stuff. So this particular Walmart is pretty well uh, set up, again, for the trailer type EVs. So you're good there. All right, we're arriving in Little Rock at 23.58, at 11.58. Uh, total distance traveled. Well, this is all, yeah, let's turn this back. Our total distance travel is 99 miles. Did so in an hour and a half. Uh, two and a half miles per kilowatt hour at 69 mile an hour average. Uh, we did all this 14% remaining, 34 miles on the guesso meter. Uh, I think we're going to another 66% to make it down to Hope, Arkansas. So uh, that's where we're headed. So here in Little Rock, we are starting to charge. We are ramping up pretty solid. and at 115 kilowatt. I'm okay with that, that'll work. I could use another 10 kilowatt, but couldn't we all? Well, in fact, that's coming next summer, I guess now, as opposed to uh, in March, where it was promised the, the software upgrade. So, looks like we're looking at summer, but uh, right now, I'll take 116 kilowatt and we'll get out of here pretty quick. We're going to 66% again. Now, charging up in Little Rock is never my favorite. Usually if something's gonna go wrong, it's gonna go wrong there. It's about as pleasant as an outdoor porta potty at a burrito festival in the middle of summer. So, not my favorite. But this one was uneventful, and then we just pressed on with a great exuberance toward Hope, Arkansas, and here are some of those pretty lights from Little Rock in the middle of the night. Well, we made it to Hope, Arkansas. Uh, looks like our traveling was 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour, average 63 mile an hour. It's 100 miles, dead on. Hour and a half to get here. Uh, we did have a have a bathroom stop, so no big strains there. But um, arrived with 14 percent and 34 miles on the guesso meter. Uh, on this one, uh, I think we're going. I believe to like 57 percent oh 61 percent so we're going to 61 percent and uh, that'll take us to uh, Mount Pleasant so here we go well we are ramping up hopefully we beat 36 kilowatt okay past that 83 Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Out, Fox, Trot, Stand. So we are now charging at 110. So we should be out of here pretty quick. Well, here at Oak, Arkansas, it went from that 110 that we saw all the way down to um, just down to uh, 36 kilowatt after like just a couple minutes. So I just unplugged and replugged in. I'm really hoping we get better than that. 
Because going to 61% at 30 some odd kilowatts gonna suck. Oh, we're speeding back up. I guess we'll see how long this lasts. And there in Hope, Arkansas, we did have a few issues. Uh, it kept, you know, going up to 110 kilowatts and back down to 30, and blah, it, it was all over the place. But uh, we finally, you know, got through it. Uh, took a little nap there and just figured, oh well, you know, however long it takes, it takes. But here is us going over to Mount Pleasant. Uh, this particular charging station is quite a fur piece off the road. So, you know, if you have the ability to charge up far enough and bypass this one, you know, shotgun wedding or no, you might want to brave the buckshot and leave this one at the altar if you can. But uh, if you can bypass it, do it and just go on to Royce City. But you do have to go up to about a 90 some odd percent charge to go from Hope to Royce City. And I just wasn't really prepared to do that. But uh, this one is in the parking lot of a Super S food store. I think you see it on the side of the building, but um, I had a really major issue with getting this thing started before. But uh, as you can see here in just a second, looks like we all kind of lucked out on this particular run because uh, it was way better. Happy birthday. All right, we are here, just pulled up. 91 miles, average 69 mile an hour, an hour and 21 minutes, and got 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour. And this is Mount Pleasant, and it's 4.02 in the morning. We're down to 15% on battery, 36 miles showing remaining on the guesso meter. Uh, this one was kind of tough to start last time, so let's see if I can do any better. Looks like this one started right up and pushed us right to 126 kilowatt. So we are cooking with gas. So we're gonna go to, uh, I wanna say we're going to 57% here because all we're having to do is make it over to Royce City. I wanna say it's like 97 miles or might even be, maybe like 87 miles. So it's not too far, but we're gonna, we're gonna take advantage of some speedy charging and then get underway. And what redneck road trip would we complete without a stop at every Bucky's that you come across? This particular Bucky's, I mean, it's in Royce City. It's absolutely spick and span spotless, you know, even in the dead of night, you know, and, and you can stop in there and get whatever you need, drinks, food. They actually even have hot food, hot sandwiches, burritos, whatever. But uh, we stopped in there and then went over to Whataburger and I got myself a Whataburger breakfast sandwich because uh, it was you know, late enough in the morning. And if you'll notice the clock in the lower right's been an hour off, this was right after the time change. So that's, I hadn't set the, the dash cam uh, clocks right. But anyway, so we just pulled over here into these charging spots with my Whataburger sandwich and I think, uh, I don't remember what I had from Bucky's, but I had a drink from Bucky's and a big, great big drink from Bucky's and some beaver nuggets, which if you've ever had them, <laughs> if you've never had them, you probably want to try them. But uh, this was a pretty easy stop. Well, we rolled in here in Roy City after an hour and 20 minutes and uh, got a little water burger here, so that's why my average mile per hour is down to 65 mile an hour because. Uh, Basically, I got her up on the highway and I just pegged her at 80 to get them all the way here. That's why we're seeing 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour at only after 86 miles. So, uh, yeah, we, we rolled on it pretty hard. Uh, I don't know what the electric version of rolling coal is, but I think we did it. Um, maybe puking Zeus's? I don't, whatever. Anyway, um, came in here at 14%, 31 miles on the guesso meter. And uh, let's see if Royce City keeps from disappointing me and shows us a good charging curve. And you can see here at the Walmart parking lot, things are starting to liven up about 5.30 in the morning. So uh, we're starting to get a little activity. They got one charger down here and we are showing 126 kilowatts. So I am a happy camper. We're going to charge up and get out of here just as quick as possible. And uh, I think we're going to, 
I think it's into the 60s, like 67% or something like that. No, 71%. So we're going to 71% here, and uh, that'll get us to Waco. And then Waco, we're going to have to charge kind of way up. And then get home. I want to see my dog. And here we are crossing over the, the lakes uh, just east of Dallas. Um, it, it was starting to get a little foggy. The moisture was rolling in. We were getting ready to run into a little bit of a little storm. But uh, this part of the Dallas area always confuses me. For some reason, I always need GPS going through here, uh, especially with all these, you know, the big roundabouts and sky bridges and all this other stuff that are around in here. I just, I get turned around pretty quick. So uh, I had the VW navigation basically sending us to wherever we needed to go and it seemed to be working out pretty well. But uh, I always, like I said, I always get confused, but the VW nav seemed to have me covered in this particular situation. But as we got closer into Waco, of course we made our exit and then you have to turn around because the Walmart that the chargers are at is on the east side of the highway. So if you're headed south, you need to come around and, and turn back around. But so you turn underneath the highway here and then uh, crank another left. And once you get up here to the Walmart, now this particular Walmart's got several things around it. Uh, as long as you're there in the regular part of the day, uh, it got a couple of restaurants. Uh, one of my favorites is actually a, a little bit of a walk, about a, about a quarter mile walk away, uh, called Casa Ole. Uh, we're almost never there during the time that it's open and there's not one actually near me in my house. So I always try to take advantage when I can, but these chargers are right on the left-hand side of the Walmart, kind of far back in the parking lot. These are usually pretty, pretty decent. Um, you may have to hunt around and find one that, that works because there's usually at least one that's down or two that are down, but uh, I, I would never call this an unreliable location. It's just that, that you know, one or two were usually always down. And in this particular case, it was no different. Uh, as you'll see here in just a sec, I'll show you when we choose one charger and as uh, the guy at, at the end of Indiana Jones in the temple or the, the uh, last crusade says, you chose poorly. Well, this run from Royce City to Waco, we did 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour, took us an hour and 55 minutes, and 119 miles at 63 mile an hour. We rolled in with 61 miles on the guesso meter, and 23%. This is the last stop before I get to get home and kiss my dog on the face, and don't think I ain't gonna do it. So uh, let me go out and see how fast we can get this thing charged in this nice, beautiful, sunny, oh, wait, nope, misty weather. Okay, so I started a session with the app. It's clicking back and forth and clicking off and clicking back on. I don't hear it kicking in with the, with the coolant and the line, so I have a feeling this is not gonna be I don't hear the coolant and the lines kicked on. Yep, 31 kilowatt. It can suck my left one. We're gonna change places. All right, first one didn't turn on the coolant in the lines. This one's making all the noises like it's supposed to. So hopefully the charge goes above 31 kilowatt. But let's see. Maybe. 114. That'll work. Again, this is the last stop. We're supposed to go to 91% to make it home. Not a whole lot between here and there. So uh, we're gonna let her eat. And it was a pretty uneventful run from Waco down to Austin, down to home. Um, here you can see going through Austin, we went through here and it wasn't at peak times or else we would have been stop and go. I just let the travel assist handle pretty much everything. 
But I'm, what I'm hoping, or my goal of this particular video, hopefully it gives you some you know, confidence in the fact that you can road trip these cars. It's not impossible to do it. You do need to take your time, and it does take a little while longer. Uh, right now, with the gas prices the way they are, it is cheaper to do so, but that could change at any notice, or at a moment's notice. So, you know, I wouldn't rely on that the whole time. Um, other than that, um, if you're going to crash, crash into that like button and subscribe for more. I'm doing always doing different shenanigans with this particular car or with my diesel excursion or my plug-in Cadillac or my 66 Mustang. So we'll see you in the next one. And like I said, hopefully you learned something or perhaps maybe I've given you a little bit of confidence to prove to you that these things can be road tripped and could be really reliable. This is actually my favorite road trip car. And like I said, I've got a diesel excursion and that thing is nice and comfy and it actually is less comfy than this particular ID4. So we'll see you in the next one.